Um, so let me talk uh, um, talk about the economic value of open source when it comes to um, uh, using uh, open source in the uh, uh, um, IT uh, space and uh, how it brings value uh, in terms of uh, uh, making projects successful. So um, um, there are so many reasons to use open source, like uh, Asanka mentions earlier. Um, one of the key um, no-brainers is that uh, there's a cost advantage in terms of using open source. However, um, that's not the key reason that uh, why you should be using uh, open source. There are a lot of uh, other advantages that comes with open source. Um, uh, one of the key things is that uh, there are so many projects uh, out there that you can use, and there are so many choices. And then uh, when it comes to building systems, you can build ecosystems of uh, solutions around the products and services that you have using open source options uh, that you have. And then uh, even though you might be using uh, these uh, uh, open source products uh, in the enterprise to build uh, enterprise applications, which might not be open source in turn, yet within the organization, there could be user communities, etc., who might leverage from the fact that you are using familiar open source projects uh, so that it becomes easier to sell it to them when it comes to using, when it comes to uh, making sure that they make uh, uh, use of the systems that you develop and deploy into the enterprise. So uh, cost advantage is a no-brainer, but more than that, there are so many other advantages, and especially, uh, for example, the advantage of quality, etc., when you are using open source. So, uh, um, uh, beyond the financial value, um, I think uh, the biggest characteristic of open source is the fact that they are built on the open source culture. So, uh, uh, the culture is what makes open source unique uh, uh, about uh, uh, what it is all about. Uh, basically, most of the open source projects are run in a community-driven fashion, and then uh, from that comes the uh, aspect of respect, ethics, uh, etc. Uh, that builds, that makes sure that the uh, uh, project is successful and built on uh, those values. So uh, it results in things such as quality, security, etc. Uh, because uh, uh, by the community-driven aspect. Uh, people learn how to respect each other and make sure that uh, when issues are found, they're reported, they're fixed on time, uh, contributions are uh, given, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And the open nature of communication also fosters innovation. And then the fact that people can come and uh, share their ideas. Maybe they are not writing code for the project, but still they can share their ideas as users, et cetera. Make sure the project evolves over time and then uh, make sure that uh, uh, the overall quality and the overall um, enterprise readiness of the project uh, increases uh, over time. And that is why uh, sometimes open source is far better compared to uh, some of the uh, uh, closed source uh, uh, equivalents uh, that are out there. <coughs> so uh, uh, there are a lot of labor economics that comes into the picture. And uh, if you try and write all these uh, 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 software from scratch, it will take a lot of uh, time and effort, uh, as well as money, uh, in order to build these uh, uh, systems uh, up to that particular level of quality. But uh, due to the sheer fact that uh, uh, people are contributing for personal gratification, etc., and for reputation, uh, it becomes uh, really economical when it comes to building uh, quality software. Then, obviously, uh, it's a no-brainer to understand that uh, uh, because of the licensing model, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, there will be a, a price advantage uh, when it comes to uh, using open source software. But uh, beyond that, you also have efficiency aspects. Uh, so uh, you have technical efficiency, strategic efficiency, and the uh, social engagement from uh, the uh, wider community, and because of that, you have a lot of uh, 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 value that are brought into 
the the projects uh, in terms of uh, their overall usage, uh, so that uh, um, they are technically uh, capable, uh, and then uh, you can influence the project, etc., uh, so that uh, they can be strategically important for you, uh, etc. Then the other fact is that sometimes. Uh, uh, more than cost, the control matters. You can spend a lot of money and buy a piece of software. However, if you cannot get the responses, answers, fixes, um, the faster, the way you want, in order to make sure your project successful, that you're building on top of these products, uh, it becomes a challenge. So uh, uh, more than cost, the control that you have in order to make sure that uh, you can uh, use the software in an agile fashion, uh, in order to make sure that your requirements are met the way it is. And if you hit with a bug or uh, a challenge, uh, whether you can go to the community, get a solution from the community, get a fix if it is a bug, and then uh, even if it is not required immediately, uh, whether you have influence over the roadmap in order to make sure that it gets delivered, etc., is really important when you are banking your enterprise projects uh, on a set of products. So. So uh, because open source projects are open for contributions, criticisms, etc., uh, you can take control as a, even as a user if you are not contributing uh, directly to the project so that uh, uh, you can make sure that uh, you have control over uh, what you are using rather than you are just buying something that you might not have an influence over. <coughs> now, if you look at uh, a typical... Um, IT project in an organization. Uh, three main things are important. The hardware that you have to use in order to deploy, um, and then the software that you use, and the services that you have to um, uh, uh, carry out in order to make sure that your IT project gets uh, successful. So uh, you have to g pay for all these components, and then the question is that how much you have to pay when it comes to each of these uh, components. So obviously, uh, if you are using open source, uh, your software cost can go down. So if you have a, a particular budget uh, uh, in order to complete the project, uh, by using open source, you can complete the project with a lower budget. Or by using open source, like in the project three in this uh, diagram, you can increase the services with the fixed budget and still deliver a much better project uh, with uh, uh, the lower cost that you have. So basically, uh, uh, the hardware costs are typically about 20 to 25% of the overall project costs. And with cloud model and people moving into uh, cloud infrastructures, etc., they might still go down uh, comparatively percentage-wise. But the uh, uh, but uh, then the software costs and the services cost come into the picture uh, when it comes to defining the project economics. So uh, 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 you can uh, uh, play around with the uh, budget and then uh, decide uh, what you can do with your uh, budget if you are using open source uh, because the software component can go down significantly. <coughs> So, uh, um, so the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, you, you, you can have more room for services, and then you can provide uh, 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 and purchase better quality services when it comes to delivering the project, and then thereby uh, uh, making sure that the project is much more successful. And if your project is successful, uh, you can have a, a, a faster return on investment from the overall project, and then also uh, 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 you can have a broader value proposition to the rest of the organization if your project is successful and you can uh, uh, buy in other people's uh, uh, commitment into your project uh, by making sure it is a, 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 a successful project. <coughs> and when it comes to the middleware space, um, uh, the reality is that there could be so many software components involved Again, like Ashanka showed uh, in the previous uh, presentation, there could be so many layers of software uh, that you have to take into account when delivering a solution. 
and then uh, uh, the value uh, in here when it comes to open source software is that you you have so many options when it comes to selecting uh, the components from the open source space and then uh, you might have already paid systems in your uh, in house uh, it might not be possible to replace them but some of the other components could be replaced with open source software so you can mix and match and integrate your components in the overall solution stack so that uh, you have flexibility to make sure that uh, 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 you deliver the solution in an uh, integrated fashion where you use open source of projects for some of the <coughs> solution components that you are trying to deliver. So uh, uh, the advantage here is that when you try to sell to the other business units what you have built, uh, there can be multiple aspects that you can play around. One is obviously the cost factor by making sure that you reduce the overall solutions cost you can uh, put your project so that uh, more uh, price sensitive customers which are the other business units would be within reach when it comes to using your solution rather than making it prohibitive but uh, beyond the cost factor the quality factor can also come into place and then uh, uh, if your software components uh, which are open source are of quality uh, you can end up with satisfied customers, uh, the IT solution that you provide, which are being consumed by other business units, uh, will get uh, better quality um, experience. And then uh, you will be seen as a uh, success. And then uh, <coughs> uh, you can piggyback on those experiences and keep on building more successful projects. So winning confidence is also part of this process. Uh, if you can leverage the quality that comes in with uh, uh, open source software. <coughs> then the other aspects is uh, um, the learning, training, uh, familiarization, etc. So when you run uh, your projects, uh, one of the key things is that your development team needs to get familiarized with the technologies, they need to understand the spaces, they need to spend time um, uh, uh, making sure that uh, uh, um, they are comfortable with the technologies involved, etc. So the advantage here is that uh, you can download it, you can uh, explore um, and uh, innovate around the usage, uh, you can seek community help, uh, and then uh, uh, if there are issues, if you have time, you can uh, provide fixes or even if you report something which is broken, probably the c if the community is aggressive enough, they will fix it for you. So uh, the availability advantage is quite critical in order making sure that uh, your uh, people who are involved with your project, uh, when it comes to getting familiar and being getting trained, etc., because uh, uh, the, the availability aspect gives uh, a lot of leverage uh, in terms of making sure that uh, uh, they can be uh, uh, comfortable and familiar with the components that they are going to deal with. <coughs> then the other aspect is that uh, 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 you can explore the opportunities. You can um, go and uh, 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 see whether you can do something out of the box uh, using open source software because um, if you try something, if you fail, the, uh, you might spend some time but you might not uh, lose uh, uh, some money etc in there. Uh, obviously time is money in a way but then again you are not paying for uh, uh, what you are trying for. right? You can just download it, try it, uh, figure it out and if it is successful you can move on to the next phase etc. So, uh, 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 so it, it is easy to evaluate new technologies. If you can find a, a, a software project which is open source that helps your idea with. And um, uh, uh, if you fail, you can throw it away. But if you succeed, you can move on <coughs> and make sure that you make use of the project and uh, uh, you uh, prove your point, etc. So making sure that your proof of concept project um, is uh, successful and then uh, making sure that uh, uh, you try out things that are necessary for your enterprise to move forward and think beyond the box and innovate 
uh, is greatly helped by the use of open source because of the availability factor. And then obviously there could be provisioning, maintenance, support costs involved later when you go into production. But that's worth the uh, cost because uh, 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 you have already proven it to be working rather than uh, investing on something that you don't know and you're, that you are not sure of uh, and wasting money on that to start with. Then uh, 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 the influencing factor is the other aspect of uh, being uh, part of open source and using open source. So uh, um, uh, when it comes to contributing to an open source project, there are multiple dimensions that you can get involved with. Uh, first and foremost, just being a user is a contribution to the community. So if you use it, if you um, find problems or if you have suggestions and if you, uh, um, if you are satisfied and if you appreciate, the community will um, um, value all this feedback. Right, so uh, being just a good user contributes a lot to uh, the project. And then uh, beyond the user, you can start contributing yourself by making sure that uh, 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 you provide some fixes or solutions or suggestions, etc., in terms of how to fix these. Or uh, just as I said earlier, just explaining your challenges, they can realize that okay, these things need to be incorporated into the project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then uh, uh, beyond uh, contributing, uh, you can have some of your employees uh, co being committers so that <coughs> they become part and parcel of the project so that you have a lot of influence now into the project. So uh, 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 by making sure that you contribute and influence at all these three layers, layers of being a user, being a contributor, and being a committer uh, has the advantage of uh, making sure that you can get fast fixes. Uh, if you, if if the project that you are going to use the open source project is very strategic, you can make sure that uh, you have some strategic alignment between your objectives and the project objectives by being able to influence them. And then uh, you can motivate your employees if you allow them to contribute and help them build a brand around it. And also, as an organization, if you are willing to contribute. Uh, in a brand building manner, uh, you can uh, build a brand visibility uh, among the uh, open source community, uh, which becomes a brand building exercise for your organization. So those are some of the benefits uh, that you can gain by making sure that you contribute uh, and thereby influence the open source project that you are using. So um, in this, uh, uh, presentation, I tried to uh, explain uh, some of the uh, economic and business values of open source uh, and, uh, uh, and, and the advantages that you can gain. Uh, it is not just about cost, but it is also about control, and control brings a lot of value in terms of your project, uh, in terms of uh, whether you can uh, uh, get to solutions faster and get bugs fixed faster, etc. Uh, while you are using some product. And then uh, in terms of your project, your project can become more successful because you have more budget to play with, more time to play with, more services to play with, etc. And you have efficiencies and quality aspects, efficiency especially from the fact that uh, open source project models are agile so that uh, uh, they, they have mechanisms of fixing stuff faster, etc. And then quality aspect because of the openness, because of the open culture, because of the fact that people can try it out and report bugs faster, uh, security fixes, etc., can be uh, uh, security issues, etc., can be found faster by the wider community, and then at the same time being fixed faster by the uh, developer community, etc. And then as being part of the project as a user, contributor, or a committer. You can start influencing the project so that you can have your uh, alignment in terms of your strategic alignment and business alignment and project direct, uh, direction influence uh, in terms of uh, uh, making sure that you are comfortable with the project in the long run and you have some say in terms of the roadmap, et cetera, uh, of the project. All right, thank you very much.